Prohibition was taking place, meaning in the 1920s, people didn't really get to drink that often unless they did it. In speakeasies! Secret. Yeah, speakeasies. You know about those? Yeah. I try to not talk about that, but. Why? They called them the shacks, you know? People would walk to the shack to shack with these bottles in their boots and pull them out and drink. Were you ever one of those people that, like, 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 had one of those uh, bottles in their boots. Uh, literature in the 1920s was an important part. Did you even read that book? This is a 1920s classic. It's Diary of a Wimpy Kid. It's classic literature of oh the 1920s. Oh my god. Oh, we had to cut down trees. Chainsaws oh were not gosh, a thing in the 1920s. This is a display case <coughs> that offer, that shows Damn. different types of things from the 1920s. There's a Civil War bullet. The Buttons. Civil War took place in the 20s. That, no, it, it didn't. Important. It took place in the 20s. No, it didn't. Did you drink during the Prohibition? Prohibition? Ah! No. In the 1920s? That's the whole time, right? Computer! Stop trying to avoid this point. We didn't have computers, so we had to use these to type Stop what we wanted to, to say. It. Grandpa, we had you're to a liar. What we had to say. Gosh, Grandpa, why can't you just tell me? Did you drink <coughs> during Prohibition? We, uh, we used... I... <laughs> oh, did you know that in so, um, ancient Egyptians were... You made that out of cotton balls! Uh, I'm sorry, I did not mean to freak out like that. But let me just answer the question that you want to know. Did you drink during Prohibition? Coca-Cola was an important flavor. Oh my god. This was actually from Disneyland. Oh my the 50th gosh. anniversary of Disneyland. Why do you have to be so complicated? Let's have a fireside chat. You know what a fireside chat is? No, what is it? A fireside chat took place during the Great Depression. It was what FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, would have done when he was a uh, president. And he would, the radio would turn on and we'd all sit down by the fire. He called it a fireside chat. And basically you'd all sit by the fire and listen to the radio. And you'd hear him say, this is a fireside chat. And I will give you your news about what's going on. I want to show you something. Okay, let's go. Oh my gosh, Grandpa, are you okay? Uh, I'm you okay. Oh Just God. help me out. Help me out. Grandpa. Just help me out. It's still there. Oh! <laughs> help me out. Oh my gosh, Grandpa. You're crazy. I would get myself in a situation with being <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay, Grandpa, that's good. Grandpa, that's good. It's not good until I tell Grandpa, you it's that's good. good. It's going. It's okay. It's gonna. Look, you're, you're not doing anything. Well, it's <laughs> Don't fall into the fire. I'm 
poking at your turn. Stop, Grandpa. You're not doing anything. You gotta. What do you? Why do you use eggs? No. What is that even for, Grandpa? I'm not Grandpa. Oh my. I'm shoveling. Grandpa, stop. The shovel. The shovel. Oh. Excuse me. I need something more important. Oh. No. Don't. No. The You're gonna burn the broom. For sweeping the ashes. Yes. Oh. oh. My Grandpa, what did you want to show? I want to show you. Uh, Get up. It's a. Where are you? Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. I want to show you a uh, telephone. Grandpa, wrong way! Oh. My gosh. Okay. Oh, this way. So this is what you wanted to show me? What is this? This is a telephone. Oh, it's a, yeah, a telephone. Or what? No, it's a telephone. a telephone. A telephone. It's a telephone. A telephone. You would put it to you. It's a telephone. Like, you put it to you your ears. And like, this is actually no, invented by Alexander Graham Bell. He invented what? a telephone no, in the 1800s. Like, this is the 1900s. This, this is used commonly in the 1920s. This style of television, I mean telephone. And Why can't I can't your hands touch on it. I'll show you how it works. So, mm. what you would do is like you would put this to your ear and talk into it like this. And, and then you talk into this. Yeah, you would talk into this. You talk into this. Yeah. Put this up to your ear. Let's just put that away. Oh. Hey, kid. Hey, you know what the Dust Bowl was? Uh, I like took out all the crops or something? It was a, basically, it got dry. It was very dry. And it caused <laughs> dust to rise and go across America. And the dust flew. Oh, yeah, and it got like it, in it people's dried homes. Up. It and got dust, like, you don't know what it was it like. It got like in people's homes. No, it stuff. got in people's homes. We're talking about did. dust here. Piles of dust. There are photos out there of cars covered in dust. It's like sand that basically floated across America. Covering up crops. Crops were wiped out. They were wiped out. <laughs> <laughs> they were wiped out. Crops were wiped out. So it led to like less production? Yeah, because they couldn't grow anything because of the dust. Massive dust. Oh my god. And just think. This was during the Great Depression. Man, you speak with your hands a lot. Good morning. Good morning. Now, right here, three different artifacts from World War II. And World War II happened in the 1940s, and these artifacts are from the 1940s. This is a, a 1943 nickel. Now, what's special about it is that it's made of silver. 40% silver, or 35% silver, because in World War II, the United States had to use the materials to make weapons, and they had to get the nickel out of nickel, so they replaced it with silver. Next artifact here is a piece of a grenade from World War II. This was in a battle between Japan and the United States in Guam, U.S. territory. Very heavy, it's lead actually. This would have shot out and hit somebody. Because that's what a grenade is. 